here's a sweet little classroom friendly book that uh, that has a lot of real estate on it for for, uh, for for writing it's made out of two circles and the way it opens I think makes it very good to write about cycles so here I'm doing the the, the uh, seasons which of course are cycles uh, and I'm doing it by using fruit to highlight each season and this is so this is how it opens and to close you have to go backwards so you've got a front cover you've got a back cover uh, and you've got all this place in between to to write things so uh, the, what I start with is generally I start with white paper although I'm going to be doing a lot of the demonstration with colored paper just because it's better for the camera um, make a circle any way you want you know this is a great way just with a lid uh, you make two circles okay cut them out two white circles um, and like I said I'm not going to be doing this on white because it doesn't show up well for the camera so we're going to be using these two different color circles first step is to I'm going to put this down here first step here is to with just one of these pieces of paper fold it fold the circle in half there you have a half circle do not open it fold it in half again now you're going to have sort of a kink here because of the thickness of the paper so what you want to do is put your finger in there to make it curl and then you'll be able to make the second fold there you go open it up now there's some fold lines here we're going to cut one of these fold lines and keep my glue from rolling around and I'm just going to cut it to the center so this is cutting one of the radiuses radii of the circle right to the center okay uh, this one does not get folded so I'm placing one on top of the other and what I want to do is I want to attach make a hinge to attach this blue piece to, to the pink piece and uh, one way the simplest probably way to do it is just a piece of tape right here I prefer not to use tape right there what I'm going to use is a piece of my paper and make a hinge so this is the paper that I use to cut my circle out of I'm going to make a fairly large hinge and then cut it down and the reason I'm making the hinge large is because it's just easier to manage. Okay, so fold this in half. See if I had a really skinny little piece, this would be hard to fold in half. Then I want to cut it to the size. Uh, I want this to have the same length as the radius of the circle. So I'll, I'll make the mark there, cut it. And now that I've done all this, I can make my hinge thinner. So I, I've cut it off and now I've got this thinner hinge. Now you're not going to, this. The, the best way I think to glue this down is to put glue on the left side, fold it over and put it on the left side again I guess. So it goes like that. This way I can glue underneath and then glue underneath the top one and glue it to the bottom layer without the hinge interfering with the the look of the front of the book so here goes I'll use a little scrap paper here put the glue on it's good to keep scrap paper till the end of the project so you can use it for gluing out things okay and glue on this fold over use my scrap paper again and I want to get the edge of that fold so I'm going to just hold it up in the air there we go lay it down lay down the hinge and there we have it and guess what this book is finished so uh, so I would I would write the title on here title on the front and then this is page one and two 
one, two, and roll it over, and you get three, four, roll it over again, you get five, six, roll it over again, and you get seven, eight. And here's that hinge, but I'm okay with that. Uh, and like I said, I usually do this on white paper anyway. Uh, there is a variation that you can do. I just did this with one circle on top, but what if you, what if you continued and here I've got three circles. So I handled the second circle just like I did the first one. And now uh, it's a much longer book. And, and so I've done this with three circles. I've never done it with more than three circles. But you can see that it, uh, it, that it gives you more, more pages. It works pretty nicely. And it sort of looks like, a, you know, the way they do is cut a spiraling hand. So last two points I want to mention. Are, let's see. I got this uh, project. I've never actually, I've only seen it done once and uh, with kids, and I got it from this book, uh, Social Studies Activities, which you may note has my name as one of the authors, which is really nice, but it's really not fair because even though I, I uh, contributed a lot of a lot of projects to this book. Here's a couple of my projects. Uh, I didn't, uh, I, I just basically handed the stuff in and never saw them again. So I didn't get to go over um, the directions. And I thought the directions in, for this one uh, were a little confusing. So that's why I wanted to show it to you. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice, it's a, it's a nice book, but without the uh, without uh, without editing, a lot of editing of the instructions. Uh, I also recommend if you do this, what I would do, what I always do with this is create a, a mock-up on uh, just regular copy paper, just regular notebook paper. That way I have sort of a sense of how things are going to work. So it's a nice, yeah, nice little book. Uh, has lots of possibilities. And yeah, I'd love the idea of using it uh, talking about cycles.